I'm Coach Natalie, and welcome to this, our 70th episode of Jiu-Jitsu for Dummies. Well, today, as promised, uh, we're going to build on the side control position that we covered in our last video, as well as the north-south position, and we're going to learn something called the ninja lapel choke. Now, it may be called the ninja lapel choke because it's kind of sneaky, but it's pretty simple, so let's check it out. Okay, let's break it down. So you are going to be doing side control. You know, you're always underhooking your uh, opponent's neck here. So what I'm first going to do is underhook their neck. And I'm actually grabbing the far underarm. So it looks like this. Now I need to control my uh, opponent here. So I'm really going to be leaning my shoulder on the side of their face. That really has the effect of pushing their head away in what we call cross face. What that does is that secures them because I'm now going to loosen this corner, this far corner of my gi, and I'm going to let go of the underarm and I'm going to feed it to my own pronated hand, just the corner. Next, I don't want them to be swirling around with me, so I'm gonna be blocking their hip with my fist, and now I'm gonna rotate into what we call the north-south position. I'm going to be tripoding on my head. I have my head on the ground. Ideally, my feet are on the floor, you know, butt sticking up in the air. And I'm going to be twisting this gi around their neck. And obviously, they're stuck there because my head is, you know, pinching them into one place. So, it's pretty simple. There's the common uh, mistakes that people though could make. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I never want to have my partner being able to look at me. I always want them to have to look away. Uh, and so I'm going to accomplish that by really pushing their head away with my shoulder. I actually call that the shoulder of justice. I love the shoulder of justice. Uh, common mistakes also would be trying to, you know, feed them, you know, your hand too much of your own gi. Now, my gi is kind of small, so that's not a problem, but if you had a very long gi, a lot of fabric, it would still be best if you were just trying to grab just the, the corner. Uh, it would be a mistake to not pinch their, their hip next to the floor. If I'm putting you in a bad position and I move away from you, of course you're going to want to try to get out. So by me putting my hand on the uh, floor and then of course putting my head right next to them, they're really kind of stuck in that really bad position. Uh, so, uh, and then the final thing would be, I really want to try to control them. And I'm really only doing that with like one hand, but if I could, you know, use as much of my my weight on them as possible, that helps to control them. So by tripoding my head and my having my, my body right next to them kind of wedges them in. It's that very painful position, of course, hopefully you'll, they'll tap. So again, let's look it up. Underhooking the head and securing the far underarm. Using my shoulder to push their head away really also just traps them to the floor. By doing that, go 
gives me some space here. Loosen my D, loosen my hand, feed my own D to my hand, my pronated hand. Trap their hip. Rotate. And that is the ninja lapel choke. Now, I love side control and maybe doing uh, future uh, videos. Uh, if I know we'll do them later, but you know, maybe in the next couple of videos, we may be doing some more uh, side control. In the meantime, thanks again for following me. As, as I've mentioned, this is our 70th video. So I always love to you know hear your suggestions. I'd uh, love for you to share uh, news of our uh, series to other people who might want to learn more about the gentle art. And in the meantime, thank you again for your support of Jiu-Jitsu for Dummies.